Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Anime King. And today I'm going to be giving the final episode. The final episode of What If Naruto's a Godly Mage. I just want to thank you all for following me in this long journey. It's been a while and you guys follow me through it. And I want to thank you all for the comments, the support, the likes and everything that you've given me so far. And don't be sad guys because you already know new What Ifs are coming up soon and my own personal What Ifs are coming up guys. Yes, one of them to replace this, so stay in tune and trust me guys, you're gonna love it. So just sit back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoy. And also go ahead and check out the brand new episode of What If Naruto Was The Same Age As Itachi that I post on this channel and enjoy that guys. And I also post a new episode of What If Naruto Had A New Dream that changed everything over an anime making too. So go ahead and enjoy that guys. And remember if you're new and this is the first time you hear my voice and you enjoy the videos on both anime making and anime making too. Go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become part of the making family. And thank you for all of your help and your support. And without further ado, let's get straight into this last episode. Start the intro. So, the last part we left off, as Naruto arrived in Konoha once again, appearing in Snelly's office as the Anvils all, they all placed their sword at his throat. As Sakura was in the office, it's been a long while since he's seen Naruto, a very long while, as she looked at him and she heard about the things that he has done. He looked towards her and smiled, but he still looked at the same old Naruto except his eyes. Yes, his eyes showed the most change, as he told her he brought her a gift. As he looked towards Snaddy and Sasuke came from a warm pole. Snaddy waved her hands as the Anvils went away, reluctantly, but they were still watching, ready for anything. Snaddy asked Naruto why. Because everything he's been doing recently is to do good, yes. He has been doing nothing but good recently, and she wanted to know why. But he told her once again that he's gonna fix his mistake, because after all he's leaving. And what about his offer? Has she thought about it? As Snaddy looked at him. He really thinks that she's gonna just up and leave with him like that. Shizuni had entered as well. As Sakura asked her help as he brought Sasuke and picked him up, take him to the hospital. As Naruto told Snad that he'll see her soon, and with that he flashed away. Naruto made his way towards the hidden rain, as Nagato knew that he was coming. Naruto has been slaughtering the members of the Akasuke, well not him personally, but he has been sending people. As Nagato could tell that he was the one behind it, those lackeys they belong to him. As he entered the hidden rain, Nagato felt the power. As he sent his pads out there to take care of Naruto. As Naruto smiled, seeing them coming for him. As the battle started, Konon had cleansed the place of the people. As all of them had went down to the bunkers, all of them had passed through the sewer system and fled the village. Because Nagato knew that Naruto would be coming here. As the battle didn't last for too long. As Naruto really showed Nagato who was the real god in this situation. As he brought down a hand from the skies that slammed right down in the village, squashing everything. As he didn't waste much time as he ended up slaughtering all the bats, he went for the real Nagato, as Conan was in there as well. After killing him, Conan told him to go ahead and kill her. But instead, Naruto placed a hand to her forehead, and a strange black angel leaked from his hand and injected into her body. The next moment, Conan called him Naruto Sama, like he was her master. As Naruto smiled towards her, as he gave her a message to deliver back to Konoha, straight back to Snabby as she went off, telling him that it will be done. As that was going on, Shinigami was having a talk with this act, something that would give him the power to kill Naruto once and for all. Naruto phoned where the masked man was, as Obita sucked Naruto into his dimension, but he mistakenly thought that he could handle Naruto in here or do anything. With one quick snap of the neck, Naruto killed him. As his body collapsed to the ground, as Yamato and Akane arrived, Naruto then felt something strange to his surprise his connection over the Zack had broken. How was this act able to break his ability to trap him in his world? He didn't know, but he might as well go investigate as the three of them headed off. So yeah guys, so basically that's what I thought you guys can 
Switch across the place and check out for yourself. So what do you say we begin this last episode? Let's get straight into it, guys. Conan, why are you acting this way? The Hokage Tower is currently packed. Yes, it was currently packed because of the people that were inside. Inside was Shizune, Snaddy, Jiraiya, Anko, Hinata, and Rukia. All of them are inside, along with Conan who arrived. Snaddy had quickly tell the Anvu to subdue her. Conan did not try to attack them. She even told them that he could put a chakra suppression seal on her, which they did, just in case. It was strange as this woman just arrived. She's here because of Naruto Sama. And Jerry was confused about that. He was surprised to see that she was alive. He has been getting rumors about the Akaski, but to know that she was here alive. Coming back to the village this morning, he never expected he would see something like this. He came back to the village because of the reports on Naruto that Snaddy had been sending him. But now, why do you call him Naruto Sama? asked Hinata as she looked at Conan. Because I am here to serve Naruto Sama, said Conan. As she looked at all of them in the room. Did he do something to you? asked Rukia. Nothing of the sorts. I'm just here to serve him, said Conan. Jare narrowed his eyes towards her. And what of your loyalty to Nagato? he asked. As she told them that Naruto had killed Nagato. And they find it hard to believe that a girl, after Jare told them, that has been with Nagato her entire life, just gave up and just became loyal to Naruto. I was misguiding. Following Nagato. But Naruto Sama is a real person. He's a true god that we must all follow, she said. And his words is law. He sent me here to deliver a message to you all to get ready. As she looked at all of them in the room, I see that you are brought off them, Hokage Sama. As she smiled at them, he will be taking us all on his journey. Jerry looked towards Nadi. What is she talking about? As Nadi looked towards him, that was something that she didn't tell Jerry about. Well, Naruto has this foolish plan that he's gonna... All of that was stopped though as they heard something crash in the village. Something rather violently. Snaddy quickly rushed towards the window as so did the other girls. As he saw smoke. Yes, something was smoking in the village. Snaddy eyes and widened as Rukia felt it. This power. It's this act, she said. But what is this other energy? As a massive wormhole could be seen. Snaddy wastes no time as she made her way out there. Her anvils quickly flopped into her side as Jerry and the others made their way as well. She quickly stood on the tall balcony as she looked down. And she saw who it was. They all gasped when they saw it was Naruto. He was beating on the ground. Blood covering his entire body. As something was coming through the warm hole. Flashback to a couple minutes earlier. As Naruto entered into the silver city. As he was looking around, he wondered how this man should break his control over him. That ability that he placed in his forehead, that seal, that he placed in his forehead it was quite powerful. After all, he placed a lot of power into it to sustain it to make sure that he doesn't enter the elemental nation, as he knew that he would wreak havoc there. As Naruto was surprised when he saw this that just standing there, he was expecting him, but how did he know that he would come right here? As Akane and Yamato was behind him. They looked towards him. So this is Dizak, said Yamato. Huh, I thought he would be taller. Dizak smiled. So you have finally returned, he said. After three long years. Yes, yeah, said Naruto. I suppose I have. I am curious though. How do you remove the mark? Dizak chuckled to himself. As he looked towards Naruto. You know. Over your little triumph. You have gone and get yourself a lot of enemies. Enemies that really want to see you perish. And for this, you have dug your own grave. Huh. So, you're gonna kill me, Nerta Axe. This Axe smile. Of course I am. I'm gonna be the one to snap your neck. And I'm gonna enjoy every living moment of it. You were a fool, boy. You took me for a fool back then. Thinking that I would cower in your praise. Well, I didn't think it. You actually did it, said Naruto. You were so scared of my power that you literally cower. I thought you were going to attack me a moment there, but then I realized all this big talk from Rukia about you being this mean, a strong man or something. I realized you were just a coward. A big, idiotic coward. You didn't attack me because you were scared. And I guess I should have killed you a long time ago. 
But trust me, I won't make that mistake again. You don't have to bother yourself with him. Say that, Connie. I'll deal with him. Well then, if you may, send Ruto. Just make sure he suffers. Did Zack simply smile? Come, he said, and see what happens. Oh, trust me, send Ruto. She's more than enough to snap that little power away from you that you have now. Do you think that having all that demonic power has made you that strong? Well, you're certainly wrong. I had felt the power that all that beast contained. And to the things that we have been doing all around the universe, the power that we have been gathering, you are surely no match. Akane stepped forward, a smirk on her face. Overconfident she was. As she then disappeared in a blur, the Zack stood there. He then outstretched his arms, he caught her by the throat. She was shocked. She was aiming for a leg sweep. But his sh shifting body was so sudden and fast, she barely saw it. He drived her body into the ground, shattering it. As he lifted her up and threw her aside as she smashed into a wall. She exploded out of it as she came at him, nine tails exposing from her back. All of them, black as obsidian. They turned into razor edge as they point towards him. They then extended out fully as they rushed towards him. Does that raise his hand? As a small golden ball came in front of him as he threw it. The thing multiplied to several golden balls as they attack her tails. The tails try to slice through them, but instead of them getting sliced down, the balls consumed the tails and latched onto it. She tried to flick them off and receive the tails, but they wouldn't go back. She then cried out in pain as suddenly her tails were ripped away from her. The next moment her feet was planted in her face as this act drive her head into the ground as it kicked her body away. Yamato leaped forward and caught her. Yamato then raised his hand as vines broke from the ground and stabbed right through this act. As this act just looked down, Yamato felt something strange. These vines were specifically made to sap your life force away and turn you into ash. As time, they were like time itself taking away everything that you hold. But it was first begin with your life force. But nothing was happening. This act simply smirked. Suddenly, the vines then erupted into flames, white, hot, scolding flames, as they just turned to dust. Akane got back to her feet, as she looked over at him. As she looked back at Naruto, as he had a quizzical look on his face, he was just looking at Dizak. Yamato, I need your help, she said. Yeah, somehow this guy has gotten a lot stronger. Let's do this, he said. As the both of them blurred away, they appeared beside him in a second as they raised their feet, but he caught their legs. He then tossed the boat of them, as she then grabbed on Yamato and tossed him back. A war hammer came in Yamato's hand as he brought it down. This had caught it as the ground broke under his feet. He lashed out towards Yamato, but the Kayubi came in, as she slashed at his throat, but his head tilted back just the slightest. He then opened his mouth as hot, scaling flames exploded out of it. Yamato raised his hand and blocked up the flames, blew him back. Wings erupted from Yamato's back as the feather started to fire towards the Zack. Every feather tearing through earth itself. The Zack waved his hand as a golden shield appeared and blocked every single attack. He then kneeled down and placed his hand on the ground. The ground then started to shift and turn as a giant dragon head came out made from stone. The thing body then started to change as it gained life. He was literally making life right in front of your eyes. As the thing burst on the ground, the thing roared, shaking the entire place. It then dashed towards the two of them and started to attack them, breathing out hot, golden flames that skewered the place. The both of them started to clash against it. This that then turned. You know, you can't send a child to do a man's job. If you're going to do something, you better do it yourself. I must say I'm surprised. I estimate your power not to be on this level. So tell me, what has changed, said Naruto. You know, I heard that you're trying to break reality itself. If I didn't hate you, I would actually try to be your friend. Say this as he stepped forward. Because that is a deed known to be done by gods. For a normal human or mortal to break through the realms of gods, power must be on a different level. But you, you're special. Despite not working so hard, not doing anything out of the way, your power inside you is still festering, just waiting to be unleashed. 
But I'm afraid I can't allow that to happen. Because I'll be taking it. Oh? And how are you gonna do that, said Naruto? This acts smirk. As he raised his hand, you should know. The gods themselves want you dead. Yeah. Big deal, I already know that, said Naruto. So they send you to do their dirty work. Yes, yeah, said Naruto. We made a deal. And the big part of that was for me to kill you. Breaking reality is a good thing, but if that's gonna cause me my own death, I don't think I want it. Well, if you think you are the gods are gonna stop me, then you're sadly mistaken. After all, you're gonna die very soon. Just watch. The Zack saw his dragon came crashing down as he was tear to shreds. Both Yamato and Nakani landed as he dashed towards him. Both of them, their hand glowing. They shot it towards him. The Zack caught their fist in his palm. The backlash exploded behind him. The earth literally rooting out out of the surface. Shaking the entire Silver City. As people screamed in panic and fear. But this accent is smirk. He grabbed the boat of the Mario head so fast. As he knocked their heads together. As he drove them into the ground and kicked them right in their stomach. He then picked them up by their throats and threw them. Tossed them aside like rag dolls. As he extended his hands. Two massive golden blades came in front of his hands. As he tossed them. But Akane opened her mouth as she released a massive bomb that exploded where he was, blowing up the blades as well. But this guy didn't even move from his position, he just stood there, unfazed and unmoved. Her eyes widened. He... he's not hurt, she said. What the hell is going on, said Yamato. Naruto, how is this guy so strong? This isn't what you estimated, is it? No, it isn't, said Naruto. Something has changed. He got help. It seems. The gods want me to stop doing what I'm doing. Don't worry, said Akanya. She got to her feet. As her body started to glow. Three chains appear in her hand. Three marking chains that they were tattooed. As the same appear on Yamato. It's time we stop holding back. The chains then start to snap one by one. A rush of power that illuminated the area caused a massive hurricane. That tore through the entire place, rain started to pour, the sky literally started to weep, the earth started to shake, the wind started to behave violently. Throughout all of this, Dizak and Naruto stood there, they're here, blowing back because of the commotion. Dizak then watched the both of them as they stepped forward. They reached him, beyond even a second. But suddenly, time froze. As Naruto's eyes moved and watched, Dizak was moving at a frequency that even he was able to move at. As Akane and Yamato was frozen, Naruto was about to step forward, but suddenly, this that then jolt. Naruto didn't understand as Yamato and the Kayubu were planted into the ground. Naruto was confused. Was he seeing something? No, it can't be. Did this that just move faster than him so he couldn't see him? The both of them exploded out of the earth as time returned back to normal. As the both of them flew up in the air, they held their hands together as a black ball sort of form. They start to pump as much power as possible into it. This act turned as you watch a ball. As the both of them descended from the sky. As Naruto jumped back because of the backlash. As the thing connected, tearing through the earth once again, screams could be heard as the entire place shook violently. Like the entire planet was going to be ripped apart. But when everything cleared away, it wasn't the Zack that was lying there, it was Yamato and Akane. The Zack had his feet pressed against the boat of their throats, not even a scratch on him. The Zack then turned his head to meet Naruto's gaze, but Naruto was right in front of him, exactly right in front of him. The Zack then stepped off of both of them as he walked forward. I told you, stop sending children to do a man's job. As Naruto looked at the both of them, two black arms extended from his back as he picked them up and brought them over to the wall and propped them up. Their body was being mended and healed. Naruto was a bit surprised as he looked at this act with a bit of caution. But still, his humor wouldn't take that seriously for much longer. You think just because you got a power up you can defeat me? You run and beg the gods for power. Just because it's all of you, you think you're still gonna win against me, said Naruto. Well, you should know something. I have come too far to lose to someone like you, nothing but a lonely demon. 
The exact simply chuckle. A lonely demon, huh? That shows that you know nothing. My father was a demon king. Look at it. I'm his son is here. If the gods are willing to come to me for your demise, can't you see that you're doing something wrong and that you're going to die? The gods have bestowed their power upon me. As Nerd looked at him, yes, they have bestowed some power upon you. But does that make sense? No, you don't understand. Their power. Nerd knew of the three gods. It's because he sensed them, but he never could get an exact location on them. He could tell that they were quite powerful. But, with how powerful he was getting at the time, he didn't see them as a threat because he would get more powerful very soon. And not to mention, he hasn't unlocked everything yet. But separately, they could not touch him. But together. No, that can't be. They wouldn't do something like that. Why would they give their power to a demon like you? You don't understand how far they will go to make sure you're dead. And yes, everything. Three of them combine into one another. Even the Shinigami, the god that preserves over life and death itself. As the Zack raises and place it towards the ground, the earth sort of rot away. Like he was literally rotting away, turning old and crumbling away. Before you remove his hand. You're much too powerful for me to kill you like that. But still, you will die today. And there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, is that so, huh? Naruto blinked and Isaac was behind him. Yes, it's that so. He tried to move but he could not. Not fast enough though. As his back was tear open by a slash. In a very, very long time, Naruto winks in pain as he jumped forward. Putting his hand behind him, he saw blood. Isaac had a blade in his hand. A rather unique blade. You like it? This is Excalibur. A blade given to me by the gods. This is even capable of cutting down you. But that is not the main purpose for it though. Naruto dropped to his knees as he started to cry out in pain. What have you done to me? He said. As this act simply chuckled. We know that you are still operating on half of your power. You are still quite strong now because of all. The power you have gathered in the th last three years. All of the planets you ciphered off. But you're still not at 100%. And I can't afford you to do that. Even though I think I can best you. But too much warning from the gods. And I'm not like you. You think I will give you the advantage? This blade has the ability to seal away that power of yours. Right now it is festering through your system. As you can see at the moment, it is shutting off everything that is connecting you to the other half. So this is what you have remained. And I assure you, with this amount of power, you cannot best me. Naruto slowly got to his feet. For a long while sweat started to build on his forehead. Yes, he hadn't sweat in a very long while because of actual tinge of fear. As he didn't feel his connection to his other half anymore. His other half that was pure, celestial. He hadn't fully connected himself. Because he thought it would be quite boring if he was that powerful. And the opponents would be quite weak. So he never fully accepted it. But now he couldn't feel it anymore. He could even enter his mind skip. But he was still not weakened. Over the last three years he has conquered so many planets. Drained so many resources. As Naruto fully got back to his feet. He raised his hand. As a blade materialized in his hand. It was his blade. As he wield it. You think that is going to work against this, said Isaac. You think you're going to actually win, said Naruto. The Isaac simply chuckled. Well then, let us see. The both of them stepped forward time, freezing as they were moving at a speed. That everything else around him just simply froze. No one could see anything that they were doing. As the both of them met in the middle, as they slammed their blades together, a massive shockwave rippled outwards. But because time was frozen, the impact didn't fully let off. As Naruto ducked under his swipe, he ducked under the slash. As he jumped back with a smirk, he slashed towards Naruto a gaping hole right in the rift of reality sliced open. Holes that were leading towards different universes, like the elemental nations, as his blade was literally tearing through the fabric of space and time itself. But Naruto wanted something better than that, 
He wanted to break this reality and venture into new ones. The exact smirk as he saw how powerful and how incredibly he felt right now. Because he had no intention of giving back the gods his power. They put something on him to make sure that he cannot fully take this power for himself. But he had an idea. If he was to kill Naruto and get his power, then yes, that magnified this already amount of power, he would be able to take over even the gods. Destroy their domains and kill them to make sure that they won't be after him anymore. And then and only then that he will be the only one. The only true god that exists. The one that will reside over death and everything. The one that will be omnipotent. Beyond anything. Beyond any specter. Beyond anything in this world. He smiles. He moved forward. The Zack was gone again. As Naruto felt his body froze, he could see the Zack. As Naruto tried to push through it, he ramped up his powers. He broke through the frequency. As he clashed with his app blade once more, another rippling effect went out. The both of them returned back to standard time as explosions happened on around them, as the earth was literally torn apart. This act wastes no time as he threw the blade toward Naruto. Naruto knocked it aside with his own blade, but the thing went around his hand and stabbed into it as he cried out in pain, as it made him drop his own blade to the ground. A feet smashed into his face and grabbed him by the head and smashed it down to the ground several times. His hair was then yanked as he was tossed. He was sent sailing right in towards the city as he smashed to a giant building. The exact point is like a gun and fire off a beam as it hit a tank that exploded. He heard screams of terror and agony but he did not care. Once this was all over he was going to be an omnipotent god. These people did not matter to him anymore. He raised his hand in the sky as a ball appeared. It had several other balls around it. Each contained a different variable. Fire, wind, water, earth, light, darkness. As he launched it towards Naruto, the thing impacted on the ground and exploded outwards with an explosion like never seen before as it wiped out the city in one shot as everyone was just gone. But this accidentally chuckled in the sky watching everything that glee look on his face. The God of Death was also witnessing this as he became anxious seeing this. This demon he knew that demon like them didn't have much remorse but his demonic powers were stripped away from him but now that he fully got them back he seemed to not be shown any more remorse but where was he going to go after this the power was given to him to kill naruto and nothing more does he think that he would keep this power after this well he wouldn't as he made this shinigami wonder if he had a plan of his own if there was something that he was planning you can never fully trust a demon but they needed him because they needed Naruto to perish. He needs to die. He can't afford to live for any longer. Things will only get more devastated if he did. They can't allow him to break reality. They can't allow him to achieve his power. To pass them, to be beyond anything that they've ever witnessed before. At least they were able to cut him off of his own power supply. Now it's only a matter of this that just killing him. That power inside him will only last for 24 hours before it is returned to the gods. At the moment they were very vulnerable. They were locked away, somewhere to keep them safe, which they think that no one can penetrate. They, despite being all powerful gods at the moment, they felt weak and pitiful, like they stand a chance against no one, and in right they do, because they don't. Back to the fight, as Naruto was bloody, beaten and battered on the ground. He wasn't fast enough to get away from the explosion. In a long long while, he has never felt such pain before. But still, he was not dead and his wounds were recovering. His bones were snapping back into place. As he fixed his jaw, his fingers started to regenerate as they were blown off in the attack. He reached up and pulled a metal pipe straight from his eye, his left eye that was completely gouged out. As he took a few seconds as he blinked, his eye was fully regenerated. But the moment he blinked a second time, his face was grabbed and smashed into the ground. Several spears descended from the sky as the deck was gone. They crashed right now, but Naruto was able to evade and evade all of them. Naruto exposed his hands to the side as the ground ripped open as massive water dragons emerged. As they fired a massive water beam from their mouths, this had raised hands as a massive earth dragon rose on the ground and swallowed their attack whole. As he then went towards them as they clashed together, the earth dragon exploded outward, blowing away the water. Naruto used the remaining water and turned into ice. As the thing shot towards his back with spears, 
countless of spears. The Zacharines had them blasted all of them away with a blade. As he appeared behind Naruto, vines erupted from the ground and stabbed right into his back. As he winced a bit, these were different from Yamato's vines. But he then turned and sliced them off. The moment he turned back, Naruto's fist connected into his face. As he was thrown back by the force, Naruto slammed his hand on the ground. Not wasting any time, the ground cracked open and swallowed his act. Naruto raised his hands to the heaven like he was calling for something as the sky started to darken. As crackle of lightning could be heard, as a giant lightning bolt reached from the sky and shocked where this act was, tearing into the earth. As the thing exploded outwards, this act burst out of it, his shirt a bit ruffled, but nothing too bad. Huh. Well, that didn't hurt, he said with a mocking smile. As he shot towards Naruto, as Naruto shot towards him, their fists connected as a rifle blew everything away. This act then smirked. As he moved behind Naruto with a speed that was unseen by Naruto and kicked Naruto in the back and slammed a head into Naruto's skull, knocking Naruto's face in the earth. He then dried the sword down, severing Naruto's right arm as Naruto cried out in pain. As he got up, this act plant his feet into his face. Naruto was thrown back as he crashed into the pile of debris. Naruto huffed and puffed as he looked at his arm. The thing was not... What the hell? It was not... It was not regenerating. What did you do to me, Naruto said. Blood pouring from his mouth. Well, you see this blade, it kind of negates most attacks. And most ability. So I figure that your arm right there is going to take a while to regenerate. Long enough for me to, well, take the handicap in this match. After all, you're getting weaker, can't you see that? As Naruto had felt it in the fight, his body was getting weaker as he fight him. I have been slowly sapping your power away with its bleed, and I'm not afraid to tell you because you're actually nothing can do about it. At the moment, you're just one useless bastard who is soon going to be on his last leg. I bet you're regretting. Not kill me back then now. Better regretting giving me that power. Better regretting thinking that you're better than me. Better regretting thinking that you were something. But you're actually nothing. Just a piece of lonely garbage on the street that I will soon squash. This act was lying about the blade. Yes, he was. In fact, the true reason of the power was him. He was siphoning off Nurta's power every time they clash. And no one need to know that. As this blade was made by the gods, it seems that the god of dead doesn't know the exact abilities of the blade, but he could feel that one of his abilities were enhanced. He could usually siphon off darkness, but he could siphon off nurture power now, the darker side of him. As he could feel his bonds getting stronger, the curse that the gods placed on him to return, their power once 24 hours is up, he could feel it loosening, and it will soon break, and once it does, nothing will be holding him back, and he was going to kill them to make sure that they don't become a nuisance. As he smiled towards Naruto, as Naruto's hand was barely regenerating, yes, it was barely regenerating, taking a very long time, muscles and skin and bones start to form. Naruto raised his hand up to the sky once more as he dropped it. Thousands of fists rained from the sky as the hands were as big as a mountain. They rained out towards this exact position, forcing Naruto jumped away as they smashed the earth, literally tearing straight down. Going as far as to break the earth's surface in straight into a substance where pure lava was. And Dizak was thrown right into it. Nurti wasn't done there though. As he raised his hands to heaven once again, a massive, giant circle appeared with ruins all over it. As the thing was pinpointed to the center, all magical power, everything going in towards the center. Before Nurti snapped his finger, the thing then came crashing down like a nuclear bomb. It wiped out every trace of what was left. All of the remaining buildings, everything. Even Naruto was thrown back by the force as his body was thrown away violently over toward the side as Yamato and Akane had regained their consciousness as they were back on their feet. The both of them were thrown back by the blast as well as they were trying to fly away as they crashed the ground. When everything died down, the both of them got to their feet. This guy. Sidakani, we underestimated him. We thought he was going to be a pushover and just hand him and leave. But he's gotten the help for sure. Yeah, said Yamato. Do you think that Naruto will? 
I have 100% faith in Ruki that he will go through this. This guy will not make him bow to a submission. After all, he's Naruto after all. Just think about it, she said. Yeah, he always find a way to get out of situations that are not favorable. Yeah, she said. As she smiled. And I have complete faith that he will not perish. Because we will be making that travel. We will be breaking through this reality and enjoying our life. After all, immortals have to stick together, she said. It's the only way you don't go mad. As Yamato chuckled, they didn't hear that cry of pain as they looked over. As Yamato had saw that he wasn't dead. Naruto was on the ground and sword right through his gut. As Dizak was standing over him. Oh, you think that would have killed me, huh? But you're sadly mistaken. You don't seem to understand I have the powers of three gods inside of me. All demonic power that my father possessed, all those other small demons, and plus my power on attack. You are at 50% at best, and those power you have conquered from the other planets won't help you here. Because your system is being shut down from the inside. All of that circular power has been cut off to you. You can no longer become your whole. You can no longer become 100% while I am dominant one. And the thing is, I've yet to use all that I've been given. As this act stabbed the blade deeper, this act didn't snap his head around as he waved his hand. A massive current of wind smashed into Yamato and Akane as they slammed into the ground hard. He then looked at them. Who told you guys to intervene, he asked. Like he was dealing with some sort of child. Chain then burst on the ground and stabbed right through them. They cried out in pain as their body felt strange. What is this? Akane said. As something started being drained out of them, as they were tossed aside and crashed into the ground. They sat there and smiled. Ah, oh, no, that's the feeling, he said. You can't really get enough. He could get a picture of sentence. As his entire face met a fist that was coated in pure black flames. As he was sent sailing back. As Naruto got up with a fury, Naruto descended upon him and started pummeling him. Fist after fist, punch after punch, as Naruto dropped his head with a massive ox kick that sent this that crashing to the ground. Blood started to come from this that mount as he reached up and felt it. Enough of this, he said. It's time. I stopped holding back. As he got to his feet, suddenly something changed. As Naruto felt it, the entire world went pause. It seemed that the world was frozen as power seemed to just be seeping into this act body. No, it wasn't seeping inside of him. This act was releasing it. As the power around him started to cause the atmosphere to change. The world started to shake. The sky started to turn red like blood. The water started to rage. The weather started to just change drastically. The climate in certain area as where the snow should have been, it melted. The oceans were put off course as the water kept on tipping and blowing. Storms started to pick up everywhere. As Dizak released a scream that shook everything to your core. Even Naruto. Once all of his died out, he stood there. In all of his might. Completely different. His hair was now completely white. As it went down to his lower back. His eyes were no longer a pupil or anything. They were just white. As he released everything that he'd been given by the gods. All of the power. As he smiled. He then got a visitor. You. Have the power to kill him. But you go this far. What are you doing? The Shinigami said. This act turned his head. You know. Three power combined to one. That is something. I could understand you guys not best him one by one. But together he would be no match for you guys. I should even let him transform into his full power. And just to test him to see how strong he is. No, you fool, said the Shingami. You don't understand the depths of what he contained. Would we be working with you if we think we could take him ourselves? If he should accept his full power, none of us, not even you with this power now, could match him. I doubt that, said Isaac. The Shingami raised his hand as he looked towards Isaac. But I understand, he said. As this that noticed that Shingami had the switch to activate the spell that was on him. 
But Lisa could slowly feel it breaking. This power was theirs, so they could control it. But the more power he got from Ruto, the more stronger he gets. But I need to make him suffer. After all, he's done so much. And he played me for a fool, so it is in my best interest that he pay for all of that. If you end up losing, remember what's going to happen. This won't be favorable for any of us, especially for you. Because I'm sure that he's going to make you suffer in a way that you can't imagine. He's a rather vengeful person when he wants to be. I have watched him enough to see him that. So remember that while you're wasting time. Yeah, I hear you. I'm going to take care of him. But he needs to learn his place first. Does that then step forward as Shinigami vanish? The entire world quaking by just one foot that he placed in the ground. Hey, Naruto. No more sarcastic remarks or anything. Hmm. I think we need to have a little fun. After all, you've always boasted to be the big strong man. It's time I show you that you're nothing. For the first time in a very long while, Naruto was not saying anything. Because he didn't know what to do. He's been hoping to just go here and take care of Isaac and leave. Accept his full power and break through reality itself but this didn't seem like the real deal. This didn't seem like it was going to happen now. Because he could feel no end to this act power what he was feeling. And at the power level that he was currently at, it made him look pale in comparison. This act was in front of him. Not even a second went by. He couldn't even track him anymore with his eyes movements. This act grabbed him by the face as Naruto felt his body go limp. The abearing pressure of this act power weighing on him. It ripped him off any movements against this act. This axe smashed a fist into his stomach as blood splashed all over this axe that came from Nurta's mouth. This axe then raised hands as he started beating Nurta's face as he called for the blade and slashed at Nurta three times as he stabbed him through the shoulder as Nurta cried out in pain as this axe buried his feet right in Nurta's mouth shutting him up breaking two of his teeth. This axe then pulled the blade out. As you can see, you are a hole opened up in Nurta's chest. As a concentrating beam started to form, as he fired towards the Zack, who slapped it away, the thing crashed and exploded, wiping out the entire sizable village. Well, if everything was in dust or debris by now. Yes, the crater was the size of Konoha. To show how much power near to place that attack, but this act just cautiously and easily slapped it away like it was nothing. This act then stomped near to face as he beat near to and threw him. As Naruto crashed into rubble, Nisa picked up the blade as he sliced. He then waved his hand as Naruto was teared through the ground and came towards him. He then threw Naruto as a ripple opened behind Naruto and Naruto went right through it. Nisa then smirk. I heard you got a sister, remember? I want to make sure she see that I kill you. To make sure someone see that I'm ending your pitiful existence. As this act sent through the wormhole as well. And so to return back to the present time, Sanada and everyone saw the beaten, bloody body of Naruto crash into the village. Chaos break out as ninjas start to flock towards the position the Anbus went off. Sanada said Jiraiya as she leaped over there as he went after her. They made their way towards the scene. As they saw the person fully, it was Naruto. Naruto said Hinata. Stay in the state that he was in. She was about to say something with his eyes locked and all of them. Run, he said. Clapping could be heard as Dizak stepped through. He looked towards Naruto. As he looked over at the people. Huh. This group right here, he says, he looked at the woman. They all seem to care about you. As Dizak stepped out fully. Dizak. Rukia whispered. Oh. So you're Rukia. I can tell, he says, he looked towards her. With this new power, I'm able to see things I've never been able to see before. As he smiled, as he then turned around and looked towards Hinata, you seem to love him. In a way, a man does a woman in that kind of love. And you, he turned towards Nadi. You seem to see him as your own son. Strange. Even though you're not related, you as well, he says, he looked towards Uncle. 
but more of a brother or sister type. He then looked towards Conan. You seem to just outright worship him. Don't know why. He looked towards Shizune. You seem to see him as a little brother as well. Strange. He looked towards Jarea. You seem to have mixed feelings for him. Between hate and caring for him like a son. Strange. He then turned his head. Well then, I suppose it's my pleasure to make all of you watch as I kill him. What? Said Hinata. She stepped forward. No, said Naruto. You better listen to him. In a moment, they couldn't even see as he appeared in front of Naruto. All of them looked towards the spot as they did not understand what was going on. A moment he was there and the next he was not. As his feet stomped in Naruto's face. Hinata quickly pulled a kunai and she tossed it towards him. The thing simply disintegrated before it even touched him. He waved his hand as all of the Shikonoa Shinobis were blown away by a violent gust that ripped through the village. I told you to watch, not intervene, he said. As he picked Naruto up by the throat, chains exploded from the wormhole that he came from and wrapped around both of his arms. As he turned, you two are still alive, he says. He looked towards Akane and Yamato who looked badly beaten up. As Naruto got to his feet, and placed his hand around his exact neck as he was about to snap it. The exact smirk as he snapped his finger. The sword came towards him as he teared through the chains. Naruto couldn't bend his neck fast enough as the exact drive the blade forward. Time seemed to froze for everyone. Hinata cried out Naruto's name. So did the others as they watched him. The blade to his chest. Naruto couldn't believe it. As he looked down. The exact smirk. As he could feel the power, as he could feel it after beating her nurture so long, he could feel a spell slowly broken. He just needed a bit more, yes. And in these final moments of his death, he was going to get it. As Yamato and Akane couldn't believe what they saw, their chains were snapped and Naruto had a sword through his chest that had pierced his heart. He let her activate her Byakukan as she saw. Naruto's heart completely destroyed. The sword then sparkled. As his heart was torn apart inside his chest. Other organs being ripped apart. She started to cry instantly. As she got to her feet and so did Uncle and the others. Even Snaddy. As they stepped forward for a single second. Just watching her to get stabbed like that. It hurt them. And the rage had built up inside of them. They were going to retaliate. This act turned towards them and waved his hand once again. The earth rooted up and threw them backwards. As they crashed away. One more move like that, as he snapped his finger, swords, thousands of swords came out of the village, and everyone died. Just stay and watch the show and watch him die, as he pushed Naruto off of him. The other two quickly appeared beside the Zack. The Zack slashed out and grabbed him by the throat. Without even looking, he smashed their heads together and burst it, as blood started leaking from their foreheads. He then created two daggers as he stabbed them deep in their shoulders as her body felt gravity like the daggers were heavy as they dropped to the ground as he tossed them away chains had erupted from the ground and wrapped around their bodies tightening them I'll deal with you when I'm done here you two also have something I want I don't want you two dead yet he said as Nurta collapsed on the ground as he looked over he heard crying as he saw Hinata Rukia even Uncle crying. Snaddy was trying to hold herself back. Conan tried to intervene, but Jerry held on to her. As he was looking up at the blades in the sky, Kakashi and the others were there as well. As Naruto watched them, as Shizune was standing nearby, her hands were shaking as she didn't know what to do. She looked at the boy who brought back Snaddy, the one that gave her back hope. The one that she missed so much, as she came to see him as a little brother, but now he was just gone once again. This time by death. As she looked up at the sky to see the blades in the sky that were to strike at any moment. What now? Would they all die? She didn't know what to say or what to do. As Shizune was going over this in her head, Snaddy was witnessing Dan and Noaki's death all over again. Despite seeing how much she hated Naruto, Despite beating the crap out of him when he just returned, she was happy to see him, despite the problem he caused. 
but he fixed it. He never really harmed Konoha ninjas in a Wii. Yes, it was the other ninjas from other villages. When he also told her about taking away from this world, a part of her mind said yes immediately. Because, after all the years of just going through this backlash of him going away, drinking, pain, suffering like that in the walkie all over again, she hated it. So to hear that she was glad, just leave every responsibility behind and go on a trip, as he say. But now watch him slowly bleed out and die in front of her. It was irking her to no degree, to no end. But she still had a duty to this village and she moved. She knew that that exact person would drop the swords and kill everyone. As that was going on, Naruto, body was on the ground, his sword still pressed through his chest. His eyes were closed. The Zack felt the last remaining of power drawn from him and fell into his body. The Zack smirked as he looked at his hand. Suddenly, the Zack blinked away as he appeared right above him. He then dropped his hand from the sky. Invisible chains blur from his hands, which none of them could see down below. But they wrapped around something as they became invisible. The Zack then pulled the thing down to the ground and smashed it hard. The Shinigami looked at the Zack with shock. How? As this asked him to smile, but he said nothing as he sucked the power out of the Shinigami. The Shinigami wailed in agony as he could feel his divine ability control over the dead leaving him. Stop this, you fool! You will break the balance just like what he's doing, just like what he wants to do. Oh, and who told you that was the good plan, said Isaac. Ah, he said as he felt the last remaining power flow into him. I just needed that boost from Naruto to gain and break your idiotic spells. And now I'm free of it, there's no way you can take this power away from me. You stupid idiotic fools, do you really think that I would ever work for you people and give you back this power? You just turned me into an omnipotent being that cannot be stopped. And that was your biggest mistake. He said that chuckle. The Shingami stood there with wide eyes. He never thought that Isaac would break the spell. He never thought. That he could break it. He never thought that siphoning off Naruto's power would be a backlash. As that was going on, Naruto found himself drifting into emptiness. Nothing. He had no one here. After all, everyone he loved was out there. Huh, love is a cryptic word. Well, he cared about them all. Well, he loved them. Because Naruto was no longer on the influence of his power. Seeing that his power has been stripped away from him in his place, he was back to his old self, back to the young Naruto that loved to have fun, be with his best friend Hinata. Tears were leaking from the corner of his eyes as he realized all the mess that he caught himself into. He remembered everything he did, from hurting Hinata and everyone so badly by leaving. As he let his power go to his head, tears were streaming down his face. What kind of a friend he was, what kind of a person he was. Hurting Sinadi, hurting Uncle, hurting Shizune, hurting everyone, Rukia, his sister that came to him, he hurt also badly. And Conan, forcing the woman to become his servant. What the hell was he thinking? As he float there and cry. Nothing but cry. But there was no point now, right? After all, he was dead. Regretting something now would just be a waste. As he sighed to himself. As he just gave up, when was he going to be taken from this place? How long was he supposed to be here? As he gave Malutra time to think, he did those things. He knew what he was doing, he still had his emotions, but he did them same way. It wasn't like he hated Hinata and everyone else. It was just that he realized that he was more powerful than anyone in history. And why should he be held back down by mere mortal? Mortal's rule. He should be able to do what he wants, and whatever he wants. Naruto chuckles, he wonder when he gained his mentality of speaking this way. Huh, probably when he got all that power. But he realized yes. He went through so much. So much suffering when he was younger. Uncle took him in, took care of him. Yes, he went through so much he had. So much pain growing up. But despite that he went through it all, to gain powers beyond anyone, to defeat the Akaske, ending wars, 
Why crush that inclination with ease? And yet he was to die here? Nah, screw that, he thought to himself. As Naruto got upright, why would he make a wannabe demon show him up? Just because he had some power. Why would he make a goddamn wannabe demon show him up? He has defied fate and law already. He has go up again, Sushingami, to make him feel true fear, the god of death himself. Why should he let that so-called demon with just some power up show him up? No, he will not die. Screw this. I am the writer of this story. I am the leader here. This act is just someone, an obstacle in my way to be crutch. Huh. Thought you'd have been staying like that and wandering like a child for a long while. I guess you weren't as stupid as I thought. As Naruto turned, who are you? As he saw the white mask come together to greet him, but he had a book flowing around him. It's me, he did. All your magical powers. Now that you're finally stopped acting like a child, are you ready to accept us? Us? Yeah, said a voice as Naruto turned to see another part of him. His eyes were different. Sage mode. As he looked towards Naruto, I am pure nature energy that you have yet to optimize because there is no limit to nature, idiot. And us too, idiot. As Naruto turned to see. Wait. Dark? Silver? You're here? I thought this act took my powers. He might have, but your power is still within you, idiot. He just grazed the surface. Stop. Making this wannabe. Think that he's strong just because he got a little boost, said Dark. Yeah, said Silver with a yawn. Don't you think it's time for you to finally descend towards higher levels? Naruto got to his feet. Well, if you guys say so. Dark came over and punched him across the head. Hey, said Naruto. Say it like you believe it, said Dark. I do, said Naruto. Alright then, stop wasting time and let's get this show on the road. That's more like it. As all of them burst into light particles and flow into him. As Naruto felt a rush. Meanwhile, back in the elemental nations, Hinata was still crying. The Zack smirked towards himself as he cricked his neck. Alright, he said. Woman, as he looked towards Nadi. You're the so-called leader of this place, right? As he looked at her, I can presume from the way they were protecting you. These one of the masks. Snadia said nothing. Hey woman, I'm talking to you. She still said nothing as Isaac stepped forward. The Anvus, despite knowing that this guy seemed ridiculously powerful, stepped forward. To protect their Hokage with their dying last breath. Huh, brave, but stupid. You know, if you're gonna cry like that all the time and bury your face in your hands, people aren't gonna see your beautiful face. Everyone turned at the voice. Hinata slowly looked up. Naruto kun? And she couldn't believe who was standing there. She looked back over to the spot as Dizak turned. What? How are you still alive, said Dizak? Hey, Bachan. Don't give me that look, said Naruto. After all, I already told you. There is nothing that's gonna bring me down. After all, we did meet a bit a long time ago, right? I told you that I want to become the strongest. And once I gain that amount of power, there is nothing that would ever bring me down. So, cheer up, he said, as he gave her a smile. As Naruto simply stepped forward, Naruto can say Hinata. Oh, so you're calling me Kun again, said Naruto, as he smiled towards her, as he leaned forward and gave her a quick kiss. Don't worry, I like it. She didn't know why, but she didn't retaliate. She just looked at him, still shocked that he was alive. As Naruto turned towards Conan, I see you deliver my message. Good job, Conan, he said. Thank you, Master, she said. As Naruto started to whistle, as he waved his hand, a green orb appear and flow straight over towards Akane and Yamato, as your wounds started to heal. Hey, sis, he said. Sorry about pissing you off so badly, okay? But let me finish this guy first and then we'll have a talk. As Naruto cricked his neck. It was then that this accident to chuckle. I don't know how you're alive, but this time when I put you down, you won't be getting back up. This act shot forward, his fist smashed into Naruto's face, shaking Konoha by the force. But Naruto didn't even budge. He stood there with this act fist in his face. You know, it's rather rude to just punch someone like that. Not even give them a bit of time to prepare themselves. I mean, geez, said Naruto. 
As he raised his hands, the Zack stepped back. He then noticed that the eyes were strange. They were different than before. Yellow markings around them. And two diamonds inside his eyes. The diamonds were white and black. Perfect balance. With a circle around the diamond. And smaller diamonds going around the edge. Like they were growing in spirals. As Naruto body shimmered with light. As light washed over him. His body seemed to get a bit more shredded. Even a few more inches. As he shook away the light off of him. Stepping out of it. Whoa. That's better than a whole big old explosion. But you know, I kind of like the big old full power explosion thing. Huh. Guess different transformation, different transformation, right? The Zack was confused. As Naruto raised his hand towards him, did that jump back? Hey, you scared, said Naruto. The Zack was confused. What? Why did he move like that? He felt something coming towards him in that moment. His body just jumped on his own. What have you done? Well, said Naruto. As he raised his hand as the sword fly towards him, you think that this blade could kill me or possibly stop my other powers. But you should know, boy. You can't kill a god. As Naruto snapped like it was a toothpick. I can't allow you to mess up the village. So I'm gonna need you gone. Naruto flicked his finger. A light of bullets smashed into that chest that sent him sailing out of the leaf village. As Naruto seemed to walk before it turned into mist and vanish. Naruto reappeared when Dizak was going to land. Dizak crashed in ground unable to stop himself. As he picked himself up. Oh hi there, said Naruto as he waved in front of his face. Dizak quickly got to his feet. He jumped back and raised his hands. Two giant ball, The size of mountains. Pure energy gathered as he thrust them towards Naruto. They exploded upon him. But Naruto waved his hand. And they seemed to shrunk in size. Until they shrunk even more. And turned into the size of a small stone. As he crushed it and threw it away. As light particles just fell off his hand. The Zack threw a spear towards Naruto made from pure condensed energy. But Naruto waved his hand once again. The Zack arm was sliced. From the shoulder. As it fell to the ground with a burning sensation. The Zack dropped and clutched his arm in pain. As Naruto simply walked towards him. You know. Huh. I'm too powerful he said. As he looked towards the Zack. The Zack was about to say something but Naruto sliced. The left side of his face off. He cried out in pain. The Zack didn't know how Naruto was doing it. He wasn't even moving a single finger. The Zack didn't focus a to his eyes as he saw Naruto in front of him. He realized that Naruto was moving at speed that his body was not even seen. It can't react fast enough as Naruto had a blade, but he didn't even see the blade because Naruto was using it when he was in. The speed force. The Zack was beyond shock. As Naruto simply stopped, you can see me now, but you can't move fast enough. I know that this would be a problem. As Naruto grabbed this up by here and then disappeared. Naruto arrived in front of a door. As he raised his feet and kicked it down. Breaking door open. As he dragged Dizak along like nothing. As he threw Dizak inside as he crashed. So. You're the ones that sent him huh? Said Naruto. The three gods were in there. They were shocked. This place should be hidden to all but them. How was this boy here? Oh you should know. By looks on your faces you're quite shocked. But you see I kind of inherited my full power. Yeah this that messed up. And you know that I'm not here to talk right? As Naruto put his hands together. No. You don't have to do this. We can help you in your conquest. We've been alive. For time that you can't even understand. We can tell you certain things that you need to know about the time and space of everything. Nah said Naruto. I'd rather see you. As he separated his hands, dead. The world then split where they were. It seems like the entire space and time just split open. Their heads were severed from their shoulders, their bodies turned to ash, and their heads burned and just vanished in the dust. The Zack had fully reformed by then, as he looked at Naruto, who slammed a fist into his face, breaking this dimension with one simple punch. As they were in literal space just floating. Huh. We're really really far away from Earth. I wonder why their signature was so far off, said Naruto. Oh yeah, I sent them through you. 
Thanks for that, by the way. Does that nose was bleeding? How? How can you be this strong? Well, the god of death warned you, didn't he? Oh, you went and killed him. Hmm, stupid move. You know, you should have really liked disintegrating my body or something. I doubt that would have killed me though. It seems like I'm rather unkillable. I've learned to drive my heel into this like head. This like cried out in pain. As Nurt waved his hand as this like arm was ripped off once again. He waved another arm as this like arm was ripped off once again. Leaving him armless. As Nurt simply smirk, look at you now. At my feet. About to a arm burst from this like chest. I'll destroy you with everything I got, he said. Indeed he did, as he concentrated everything towards that one arm. As he created a black ball, it was so black, even darker than the obsidian. In the deepest dark of space, you couldn't even see it. As he released it, the thing then swallowed over half a dozen planets. The speed that the thing was moving in, the thing broke beyond light itself. Given the distance of the planet, the thing reached him in a second, showing how much power this had put into that. But to his utter shock, Naruto was still standing there. As he coughed a bit, you know, dust in someone's lungs is really not good. As Naruto's body was glowing, with a white aura. Tell me again now, how was that supposed to be me, a god? The sack hands on knees start to shake. How are you this powerful? Don't really know. Huh. Maybe because I'm a tribrid. Yeah. The mixture of one is strong, but my power is different. Strange. Can't really understand it myself. But yeah, it's time for you to ask her to move forward and grab this up by the forehead and pick him up. This I tried to move his arms that regenerated. But Nurta smashed up his into his gut as blood, splattered. But he didn't touch Nurta in incinerate the moment he came near him. The Zack then looked up as beams came from his eyes and burned Nurta his arm. As Nurta looked at his arm to see two small black marks. The Zack then shot forward as he went off running. As the black marks then disappeared. Huh, troublesome, said Naruto. As he then stepped forward in mid-air, before blinking out of sight. Dizak quickly made his way towards the earth. As he appeared above the earth, he gathered as much power as possible. Before, a large ball. It looked at the sun itself as he raised above the earth to see Nurta appear. He then dropped it. The people of earth wasn't ready. As the ball consumed everything, destroying the elemental nations, everything was wiped off the map. The entire earth just blew up into pieces. The Zack threw back his head and laughed. You might kill me, but you have no one left. You're gonna suffer eternity alone. The Zack went quiet when he saw her to turn his hand. The earth literally reforming time going back. As Nurta turned his hand like he was turning a clock. As the earth returned back to normal. You were saying Nurta acts. The Zack stood there in utter defeat. I, I can't win. The man gave up completely his hand, dropped to his side. You know, I was planning on going back in time. To rip you out of existence itself. Like you were never born. But that wouldn't be so much fun. I just want to really piss you off. By even slicing off your arm when you were younger. To make you born in one arm. Well, you were really born, right? You were a demon, so you were just... Well, yes, you were born. Huh, freaky. Wait. Your father had sex with a human girl. I mean, is he a demon? How exactly did that work? My father was a celestial, so his body is quite human-like. But is there father like a creature-looking monster? The Zack said nothing. He didn't know what to do. As he didn't feel that firm hand placed on his shoulder. I know, said Naruto, quite frustrated knowing that you can't do anything, right? That is how I felt a few minutes ago. But now, as the Zack cried out in pain at the power, that he got from the gods started to leave him as everything was being sucked in Nurta's body. The Zack was thrown back as Nurta raised his hand as he was trapped in a bubble because he couldn't breathe in space the way he is right now. As Nurta stripped away every inch of power he had as Nurta held a tiny ball in his hand. Huh. 
compared to me now this power is quite weak but still quite strong to other beings i'm gonna need it okay the exact look defeat as he was just on his knees and tiny ball as Nurta simply clenched his other fist, as Dizak exactly could feel the things closing in on him, in the last words said Naruto, Screw you, said Dizak. Naruto unhinged his hand. Dizak exactly looked around as he thought he was going to die, but he did not. You know what? I'm going to make this much more painful. As Naruto tossed the ball, the thing was thrown right into the sun. Dizak's exactly eyes went wide as he cried out in pain. But to his surprise, he didn't feel pain. He thought it was going to come so he cried out. But he was literally inside the sun, the ball around him just getting heated. As he realized what Naruto did to him. The ball was not being penetrated by the sun but it was getting hot as he was going to be cooked alive. As he cried as much as he can. Naruto simply chuckled to himself. Before he snapped his finger, several confusing blinks looked at him. As all of them were in a cube. What, what is this? said Snally as he looked around. Snaddy looked around and she saw, is that the earth? Yes it is, said Naruto. As she turned, Naruto, who do you expect, God? Because I am God, he said. What are you doing? Well, said Naruto, just one moment as he snapped his hand. The world then glowed bright red for a second. Before, he lowered the cube towards earth. As Hinata made her way forward. Are you okay, she asked. Thanks for asking, I'm fine, he said. As he looked towards Uncle, who just spoke, as she asked, What now? Are you gonna forcefully take us? Forcefully? No, said Naruto. As they went through Konoha, that was perfectly fine. What is this? asked Shizune. How is the village still perfect as before? asked Konan. Did you fix it, Naruto Sama? she asked. Well, kind of, said Naruto. As they start to float, why isn't anyone reacting to this? Oh, they can't see us, said Naruto. I'm just here to show you that. He pointed towards our office window. Snaddy blink. I is that me? Well, kind of, said Naruto. Just say it's a replacement. Yeah, she's gonna get old and die eventually one day. Let's just say now I can create life. A perfect copy of you. So no, you guys don't have to worry. It's not like you're abandoning your posts. Because you're there. And your friends and everyone else will still have you. They won't even know that you're missing. As for me, I've wiped every trace of my life away from Konoha. At the moment, there are just three nations, Kiri, the San, and Konoha. Seeing that the other two are destroyed, but no one has an idea that there were two other nations. Because I don't exist. And they don't know anything about me attacking them. So they're just minor villages now, said Naruto. How, how did you do all of this? Ah, Chizune. Well, I'm kind of a literal god now, said Naruto. But I'm not forcing any of you. Because I understand that... Well, I came to a conclusion. If you don't want to, you can. As he looked towards Rukia. So if you want to leave and go back, I'll drop you off and just destroy your clones, he said. As he looked towards the Kayube and Yamato, they were staying with him, he knew that. But for the others. Snadi watched herself for a long while. Hinata walked forward. Are you sorry, she asked. Sorry? Yes, yeah, said Naruto, of course I am. For everything that you've done. Of course, he said. You know, for a moment there, I remember my old self. And I cried. It's been a long time since I cried. You guys can see how much I cared about you because I cried so much. And I'm truly sorry for what I did. But... If you want to never see me again, this is your wish because I can't come back where I'm going, he said. As the girls all looked at him, as Kona walked over, she was already going. You know I'll follow you anywhere near Tasama, she said. You have to fix her, said Hinata. Fix her, said Naruto. Yes, return her back to normal. Well, you know that she's not going to come, right? Yes, but you took her life away from her. The Hinarin is gone, said Naruto. That is not a nation anymore because I erase pain so there is no more god there. It's just a minor village. So what's she gonna do? The last time she told me to just kill her. I'm afraid without Nagato she has no one, said Naruto. As Kona looked at him curiously. 
Naruto Sam, she said. Oh, don't worry about it, said Naruto. Hinata, watch as she saw her sister, and her father, and herself. As Naruto is making him see every point of view. Shizune whispered something to Nati, as Naruto heard what she said, but he pretended like he did not. As the girls then walked off. As they started to discuss something amongst themselves. As uncle nodded, yeah. I think that would be pushing his daddy Nata. No, said Snaddy. We're gonna do it. As all of them nodded as they made their way back towards him. So what do you... Naruto was slapped by Hinata. As she walked by him. He was then slapped by Rukia. He was then slapped by Snaddy. As he was slapped by Shizune. As he was slapped by uncle. As Naruto placed a hand on his cheek. Huh. He didn't really feel anything. You know, I'm too strong for my own good, he thought to himself. So, is that slap mean that you guys want to get off, said Naruto? No. We just let out our frustration in that slap. We're going. Naruto was embraced by a hug as he looked down. I missed you, said Rukia. As Hinata came forward and hugged him as well. As uncle, all of them came forward and hugged him. Yamato then came forward, yay, a group hug, he said. As he was held back by Akane. They're new, let them have their moment, will you? Alright, fine. But at least he's bringing a lot of hot girls. As they break the hug, Naruto then squashed the ball that he had in his hand the entire time. As the power spread out in the cube, all of them felt a rush. Naruto, what is this, Asinata? Oh, just a bit of boost. As they all blink, they felt power like they never felt before. Unimaginable power. Now we can go and... Naruto didn't stop. You know what? I had enough, he said. As he turned towards the scream. Wait, the scream? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, you. Anime King. Wait, are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you, Anime King. You see, I have broken the anime rules. So, this whatever you're doing don't apply to me anymore. You're not in charge of my life, but I'm writing a story. I don't care anymore. You're not going to be in charge of my life. You think that you can just use my life as some watching board or something? Hey, but I make you quite powerful. And I also give you a lot of girls. I mean, out in the universe, you slept with a lot of girls because of me. Yeah, but I'm a god now. And I don't need you writing my life anymore. So yeah, you're done. As Nerd reach up and snap, enough. Hello there everyone, it's me, Naruto. I dispose of Anime King, but I'm not sure what kind of being he is. Not even I was able to kill him completely, he just vanished. But I suppose he'll be back right next door. But, now I'm in charge. Huh, the real world looked kind of weird, a lot different from the anime world. Not to think I was in a cartoon this entire time. Well. Anime King did give me a lot of powers and all that. But he almost made me die a lot of time. So yeah, screw him. Now, where should I go? Hmm. So girls, where do you want to go? What do you mean? I mean, anywhere. The gods were afraid of me because I was going to break reality. But now, I can. A wormhole suddenly rip open. What is this, said uncle? Oh, these are the worlds. Hey, that guy is bald. Yeah, I have knowledge over all. This guy is called Saitama. Hey, who's that? That is a slug. Yeah, a Rimuru Tempest. Huh, suppose we can go there. What's that? Hey, those two guys are fighting. Well, I think I'm gonna go there soon. The Dragon Ball Z world. Yes, I want to fight Goku. Hey, what's that? That's some self declaimed demon lord. Anos Voldigus. Let's see how he match up against me, a god. So you girls ready to have fun? All of them smile. Well, wherever you are, anime king. Thanks for the life. At least it was a good one. But I'm off now. So yeah, you're not controlling me anymore. As Naruto walked through the wormhole, Stupid idiot. Huh. 
He really think that he could take care of me. I'm the one writing his life. I was still the one in charge, but he thought he stopped me. He might be a god in the anime world, but to think that he really came in the human world, that was crazy insane. I guess I made him a bit too powerful. Well guys, I suppose I have to end this now. Don't want him coming back here. Huh, what if he actually tried to kill me? Well, I'm just gonna finish this story right now, so we will have no chance of him coming back. So yeah guys, this is the final chapter. I hope you guys enjoy, and I just wanna say thank you all for joining me and following me on this quest. And just say, yes guys, thank you all. And don't be sad because you guys already know that as usual, new what is are coming up soon. One of my personal ones and I know that you guys are going to enjoy, so thank you for that and I hope you guys do enjoy. So now, without further ado, before Nurture come back, I'm going to be ending this series. So, bye guys.